Hey guys, my name is Joe, and I'm in charge of all the things that touch data at Pop. So Pop is the first ever digital health clinic that provides unlimited 24-7 access to vets and professionals, as well as a 3,000 per year emergency fund for your pet. We have around 20,000 members today spread across different kind of memberships. And our goal at Pop is to help pet parents during their journey by having them not worry about pet care and not sacrifice their pet's lives. So we operate with ease of use, customer experience, affordability, and fast response in our guiding principles. We're a Series A company that is exponentially growing both in terms of users and as a team. Even though the team is 15 engineers today, the main focus is on the tech and the product. So internal apps come in second. We're a startup after all, and we're growing, and so this is normal, and we don't have a dedicated team for internal apps. Yet, we're an operations-heavy startup with a lot of internal processes that we need to automate. For example, we receive a high inflow of calls and intercom messages every day where customers inquire about their accounts and request actions. So for example, updating their email, changing their payment methods, canceling their subscriptions. They could also be reaching out to the CX team for feedback in regard to the conversation. So before retool, customer experience specialists had to have a dozen tabs open in their browser, one for each SaaS tool in order to locate, to locate the necessary information, edit it, or update it as needed. A second very important workflow we use as an insurance company is claim processing. So our customer contact us to get claims processed, and there is a multi-step verification and KYC workflow that we need to go through to validate and pay out an emergency. And so before retool, those were centralized in an Excel spreadsheet that served as a log. It was a very manual process, as you can imagine, which is very prone to human error. Think of a wrong email address, a wrong amount. So we needed to always run jobs periodically to clean the data in our pipeline before we serve it. So the SaaS tools I mentioned you know, earlier that were used by, by our ops team include Stripe and Recurity for payment, Cognito for emails, backend DB access for uh, anything ad hoc, Google Sheets, and the list goes on. And so you can imagine what it means to manage those accounts for 40 members on the team and you know, for them to have them open all the time and locating the right information. So basically we needed to streamline all of that. And here comes Retool. So we started using Retool, I think a few years ago as we were still an e-commerce platform back then. And Retool came in handy to process orders. We liked it and kept adapting it to our changing business model. Once we found product market fit, we couldn't find a better tool. And basically, we, we, we like Retool for a bunch of reasons. One, it's very easy and fast, a fast way to build user-friendly tool. Uh, two, the customer support and, you know, through the intercom and all the documentation and the tutorials, which make it so easy to work in Retool and develop fast. Three, so many data sources, so many ways to integrate into your existing SaaS vendors. Access control is great. And basically, we love Retool because it's all-in-one solution for our operations. I'm going to walk you through a pre-recorded video, basically, of our Retool app. So here's our index screen where we have all the apps. We go into the user app. You can look up a certain user, whether by their username, ID, phone number, email. See, it's customized up there. Here, I'm looking up Andrew, which is our CTO. Here's all the information about him. So let's say CX needs to know anything about their account. They can do it. They can process cancellations over here. Then we go to more like antenna applications. So we can look at the conversations he had. So in case he had a problem with one of the bets or he has feedback, we can see that here. We can get like how long he waited, the lengths. We can also get the link to the Twilio account. Here we see also his bets. Um, with the different health goals and conditions if they have them, no emergencies, payments, you can also change the payment method to what payment method they're using. So this is one of the main apps. The second app is the emergencies app to manage a, an emergency to the workflow. And so here we take an, an emergency from initiated to contacted. We take it to the processing stage. Uh, I'm sorry for those weird names. This is our staging environment. Uh, here we implement some checks. Um, so for the cost of so like covered cost can all be bigger. Emergency cost, a bunch of stuff. We upload, we can upload the, the invoice, add some notes, submit it, it goes into pay that. We can also, so all of that is for emergencies that come and are created from our backend. Uh, we can also see all the information, but we can also create an emergency from scratch. So here, again, for Andrew, to limit error, we autofill that form on the right. So all of that required a lot of JavaScript work. And yep, 
So that's our Retool app. So far at Pop, we created around 10 apps in Retool, with the most notable ones being the one we shared just above. We also have another CRM app to manage our B2B clients as we sell the insurance policies to companies. Uh, we also have the finance app to run different scenarios, enter different goals, KPIs, OKRs, and we also do reconciliation of historical data and journal entries. What's next with Retool? Well, first, we're very grateful for that amazing tool. On a personal level, I'm impressed by so many facets of it, and it has evolved a lot since I started using it heavily six months ago. I have recommended it to so many engineers and other companies, and they all happen to love it. As for Pop specifically, um, what we're, we're planning on doing next with Retool, we want to start integrating some of the data visualization that are needed for internal processes. That's one. Two, I want to start using reusable components as I have to rebuild everything every time I start from scratch. Can't wait to see Retool implementing cross database operations. I want to elaborate more and more on our team. And um, last but not least, I want to explore more connectors and build more apps. And again, thank you for that amazing opportunity here at Pop. We love Retool.